Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Father, we thank you for a time that we can come aside from all the activity out yonder, Father, that distracts us from time to time. We thank you for a place, Father, of quiet rest in the midweek. And we pray tonight for every name on this prayer page. We haven't called them all out, Lord, but you know every one of them. We continue to pray for the McKinney family and the loss of the mom during this holiday season. I just pray tonight, Father, that every need in this place might be met. I pray, Father, that you'll heal this nation. And I pray that as we observe a day of thanksgiving, that this nation truly, our Father, might take time to thank you for the liberty that we have, for the freedom we have, helping us to realize that it was bought with a heavy price, Lord, over the years. And we pray tonight for all of our shut-ins, whether they be in nursing facilities or rehabs or just at home. They would love to be here tonight. Most of them would. And so we just ask you right now again that your Holy Spirit might even now make them aware of our prayers for them. And Father, as we Think about those things that are happening all around the world tonight. We just ask you, Father, to take complete control as we know you will in those troubled spots. Pray for this nation. We pray for our leadership. We pray for your sister churches, Father, around this western section. Pray, Father, that you might give each church and each leader wisdom to know what to do and when to do it. That we might make an impact on this area of town. We love you. We praise you. We worship you. And we do it all in your name. Amen. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also hath loved us, and hath given himself for us an offering, and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savor, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ.
choir for that, and that will continue our worship service. Did everybody get a bulletin tonight? If you didn't, uh, our usher will come give you one, but I hope you got one. We'll start off by singing hymn number 15 in your hymn book, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. Hymn number 15. <laughs> Response in reading tonight, I asked you to, t to turn uh, to page one in your hymnal. Page one in your hymnal. It's entitled The Glory of God. We asked our guests uh, that are with us tonight to read with us the word, uh, which is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword. I'll read the lighter print, and if you will all responsibly read the heavier print. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He directs me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Today, shall I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen.
compassion. I've been so long that I'll risk clothing too. I know how fear builds walls instead of bridges. I'll dare to see another's point of view. Thank you so much, Ensemble, for that. We'll continue our worship. If you take your hymn book and turn to hymn number four, To God be the glory, he hath done great things. Hymn number four. <laughs> 